Yo, it's your dude. I'm blasted off sleep paralysis. Hello, audience. Tune in. Fucking Tank Lip Live. Facebook Live videos. Fucking where you at on this Saturday morning? I got the crusty lips. Listen, I haven't brushed my teeth in three days now. Remember yesterday I said I hadn't brushed my, day, my teeth in two days? Well... I never brushed my teeth yesterday. So the question is, do I brush my teeth today? I'm kind of crusty. <laughs> Three days, I mean, the only thing is I can get away with it. I have no fucking friends. No one's hanging out with me, so what does it matter if I brush my teeth or not? And this is kind of what it is with like mental health and shit. And this is why they have the fucking, that assessment. Um. I they call it like a global assessment or assessment rating scale um, as a counselor, which I, unfortunately I am also a counselor. Don't ask me how I pulled that off, um, getting my master's degree in counseling when I'm more fucked up than the people I'm counseling. When no, no people? Okay. Listen, here's the thing. They teach us to ask, like, are you taking a shower? Are you brushing your teeth? Are you changing your clothes? Are you keeping your room clean? Like these, this is the assessment scale of like wellness. I, that actually might be, I forget the term. It might be the wellness assessment scale or something or global assessment scale. And you're supposed to like, there's like a, on a one to 10 thing. Like, uh, you know, also like, are you feeling this? You know, one to 10, what is this? What What is this on a one to 10? So basically, I'm not brushing my teeth, uh, at least I did shower, I'm showering every day. But by the time I'm done showering and dressing, um, I have no fucking energy to brush. What's good, Philly Hayes? Yeah, tank lip, little I'm black, look. This fucking, check out, I got my morning java, but it is not doing the trick. Listen, Philly, should I fucking brush my teeth today? It's been three days I haven't brushed my teeth. And I think Panera Bread just poisoned my coffee. Like, they do not like me there. Like, I, I'm, I'm gauging their temperament as I drive through. And I'm kissing their ass. And, you know, basically the feedback that I, or response I get from them is my way of gauging, like, are they my friends or not? And they're not very friendly or hospitable. So now I think they po they're poisoning my coffee. Like, do I look like I'm any threat? to the fucking staff at fucking Panera Bread. But yet, I think they might be hired, like on some hired hitman shit, to fucking knock me off. Um, like, look, here's the thing. I mean, if I drop dead today, everyone, no one's asking any questions. I look like the fucking walking dead. I'm not brushing my teeth. My assessment scale rating is not good. No one's asking any questions. So if someone wants to get rid of me, they're going to fucking go to the people that work at Panera and they're going to say, listen, slip this in his coffee. No one's going to ask any questions because he's the walking dead anyway. And boom, boom, we'll give you a couple hundred bucks to fucking slip this in his coffee. And, uh, you know, if he drops dead, no one's going to think that you were the killer or some shit. I think that's where we're at because I'm gauging their temperament. You know, kissing their ass, like, oh, you, uh, you fucking, you know, how's your day going? Mm, meh. Oh, it's not, it's, it's, it's not, you're not having a good day? Well, well just busy, or, you know, I'm getting this stoic. The responses from these fucking workers is stoic. Like, you can't even gauge, the, the af they call it an affect. Their affect is flat. They have flat affect. Like, it's, it's pathological. Um, or these are, these are sociopaths working at Panera Bread. You can't gauge their temperament because they have none. They are flat. You can't tell when they're having a good day or a bad day. So I can't even kiss their ass to gauge whether they're, they're doing good or bad on, on a given day. Okay, because on any given day, they are the same affect. It, it's the flat. They're, they're same on Monday as they are on Friday. So I don't know. And the whole fucking staff is that way, pretty much. And, uh, you know, so my family asks me, like, a lot of work would have to go into, like, doing the hit contract on Tank Lips Coffee. 
they're like, you know, someone would have to know at what time is Tank Lip going through. Oh, f f yeah, Philly. Thank you, Philly. I'll, I'll get back to you in a second. Philly, I know you're there. Just stay tuned. Let me just fucking get through this shtick I got. So basically, my family, like, try to give me some reality check on the situation. They're like, a lot would have to go on, Jay, for, for someone to do the hit contract on your coffee. Like, they'd have to know on a given day or that on given days, when is Tank Lip coming through? Like, what time? Okay, they'd have to know which cup of coffee I'm getting and, like, be near that spot, near the coffee station to, like, you know, when the sugar and the cream is going in there, like, slip some shit. And they probably would have to have some co-conspirators, like, working with them. Like, this person puts the, the coffee cup down um, pretends they're walking away just so the other co-conspirator slips it in when, when no one's looking, and then the other guy comes back, picks up the coffee, and then they hand it to me on drive through and then their fucking temperament is stoic, so you can't even interrogate these bitches, okay, and they are a bunch of fucking bitches at this point, like, they're not even, like, at least fucking be pretty if you're gonna be stuck up, and I can't even kiss your ass, be fucking hot. Be that 11 on the 1 to 10 scale. Fucking fly ass bitch. No, we got fucking dogs with a stoic temperament. A fucking break. I'm trying to... I mean, I've got sleep paralysis already from whatever conditions I got. I'm not even brushing my teeth, as we've already mentioned. Okay? And I'm the fucking innocent man here, Tank Lip, trying to drink some fucking Panera coffee. Storage full. Okay trying to drink some fucking Panera coffee just to get even. So maybe I have fucking energy to brush my teeth. But no, we don't want Tank Lip to, to get out of his sleep paralysis and have energy to brush his teeth. We want him to look the fucking Walking Dead part. We want him to look the role. So we are now going to further poison his coffee just so he stays in that state of paralysis. No, fuck you, Panera Bread, and your whole fucking conspiracy. And who's this guy, Ken? Camped out there. No one has my schedule, okay, but Tank Lip. Only I have the Tank Lip schedule. How is Ken? So talk about... Thank you, Caleb Wyanch, or whoever you are in your fucking nun suit. Yeah, I am the Catholic nun dunce. Listen, Caleb, stay focused, because I'm going to get to this dunce shit, okay? It is like being in Catholic school getting dunced, what I'm in, okay? So I am now against Catholics. No offense to anyone that's Catholic, okay? But I'm against the whole dynamic of this dunce that I'm in. I'm wearing the dunce cap. Does anyone see my dunce cap? You can't see it, but it's fucking there, Okay? Listen, here's the deal. Now I'm losing my train of thought. What are we, fucking remote control, fucking hack Tank's brain so he, he can't figure out what he's saying? Where was I at? Coffee? I was going to make a good point and Caleb just fucking came through and hacked my fucking thoughts. Well, thank you, Scarecrow from Batman. For, for, you know, it's hectic right now. Let me just meditate for a second and try to gather my thoughts. Because I'm getting heated, and the more heated I get, then I can't think. This is no good. Philly, what, what do you think about this? Leave some comments and some feedback. Maybe it'll stir up my fucking thoughts. See, that's part of this fucking sleep paralysis. Is my I'm going to have dementia soon, okay? And dementia is no good. So I'm the movie Memento being OCD all day long. Just to not turn into the guy from Memento, but all my OCD protocol. And I'm I'm the walking Memento movie where the guy's writing on his hand to remember shit. Come on now. I'm too smart for this shit, but I'm obviously very stupid because I'm very trapped in this situation. Okay. I'm a white man, so I'm fucking already a walking target because... You know, we're in a race war right now, and uh, white people are looking very bad in this race war. All right? Thank God for underneath, I'm probably really black. Because as a white man, I will get nowhere. I'm not even enjoying this coffee. Caleb, why'd you have to hack my fucking memory? I would... <laughs> I'm 
now I'm hacking lungs. Look at it. Look at that. That was disgusting. <coughs> oh. I told you they fucking put some shit in my coffee. I'm resilient though. Uh, see this? What's happening right now is like the same shit that happened to me on the battles where I choked and like lost my lyrics against fucking just the klepto and it was uh, klepto tank's fucking brain because a guy that can spit nonstop. I mean, he's bars all days. Fucking forgot his, forgot his lyrics. Come on, I'm bars for days. How did I choke against that just the klepto battle? Are you fuck. Oh my god, this chick is hot. Can I show you what I'm looking at right now? What is she? Is she the? Put your hands up for the eleven on the one to ten scale, guys. Is she? She's a fucking eleven, right? I'm. Uh, I mean, if that's not a fucking eleven on a one to ten scale, Shorty is blazing hot right now. Look at those fucking legs. I, were you guys able to catch a view of that? And that dog, like, that she's walking. Like, baby, can I walk with you? Thank God. Come rescue me, baby. I'm on this sleep paralysis shit. Fucking Panera Bread is poisoning my coffee. It's hectic, guys. It's, it's very hectic. I lost my audience. Everyone's done with me. I, I don't blame you. I, I'm done with me. Oh my god. No, that's not even the shorty that I was thinking it was. No, her boobs are like a little more defined. Like this one works out, you could tell. The one I was thinking it was is fucking stacked with like fucking dub triple D's or some shit. But this one ain't bad. Who is this chick? Oh, she's looking right at me too. Can you hear me? Where the fuck am I, guys? I was going to make some good points, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to watch this video over and see where the train of thought was. And then on another video, hit you up with it. I don't remember where I was. I, I know I was talking about dunce caps. And I see the problem is I went on so many tangents. I, I couldn't tangent my way back to the main points I was trying to make. Um, this is just a testament to like you know, my own pathology, like literally the pathology of like the deterioration of my brain where like I lost my thought and I couldn't get it back. Now I'm trying to like fucking stay even, you know, I, I see what's going on here and I'm, I'm trying to drink coffee every morning so that I'm not in these predicaments. But then in my effort, to fucking, you know, not let this happen via drinking coffee, okay, then they're getting my coffee. So how do I win? If the coffee for my paralysis then gives new paralysis when they're putting shit in the coffee. I mean, I, I just... It's beyond me, and I really need a cigarette right now. Uh, you know, all right, guys, I'm gonna hit y'all in a, in a little bit. Ah, uh, uh, man, I'm vexed. I'm I'm more vexed than about about being vexed. I'm vexed that I actually lost my train of thought. That bugs the fuck out of me. Okay, when I I am about to say something like I was on target to like make the points. And fucking Caleb Wyanch fucking dunced me with his fucking Catholic shit. Uh, I mean, Louis, oh my God, look at those, I can't, mm, I can't even show the teeth. I haven't brushed my teeth in three days. All right, guys, 